In this video, we're going to show you how to install a Centurion roller door. Please note that garage door installation can be dangerous. For your own safety and quality assurance, we highly recommend that you have your door installed by a trained garage door professional. As the installer, you're responsible for making sure that the door is installed securely. Always use the proper tools and be aware of on-site safety. Follow your installation manual carefully and please, if you're not confident in your skills, do not attempt to install a garage door. Measure out your opening width to ensure that your door is suitable for your opening. Check that you have all the parts and tools that you'll need. Refer to your installation manual for details. Install your mounting brackets first. Measure out your dimensions as specified in your user manual. Make sure you use a level to mark where your brackets will sit. Once you've marked out the location of your bracket, you can secure it on straight away. To find the location of the second bracket, you will need to use either a laser or water level. Here we demonstrate how to use the laser level. Make a mark on both sides of the opening along the laser level. Measure down from the top of your first bracket down to the mark. Measure up from the mark on the opposite side using the measurement you got earlier to determine where the top of the second bracket will sit. Install the second bracket using the same technique you used for installing the first. Identify which side is the front of your roller door. The bottom rail and weather seal should be facing towards the opening. Simultaneously rotate and push the shaft to centralise it. Measure the distance between the edge of the track and the mounting bracket so that you can cut the shaft to length. This is especially important when you're installing two roller doors side by side. It's good practice to go over sharp edges with your angle grinder to reduce the risk of injury. Secure the door to the mounting bracket with some form of lifting gear. Hold in place with stilsons at both ends of the shaft. With the help of a second person, lift the door up. Be careful here, as the door is heavier than it may appear. You'll need to push the door up onto the mounting bracket one side at a time. Pull the stilsons downwards to help you keep the door in position. Prop up the door slightly so that you can insert the saddles under the shaft. Place U-bolts over the shaft and tighten by hand. Make sure the door is centred over the opening, then tighten the U-bolts on both sides. Using a utility knife, make an incision in the door packaging to clearly reveal the bottom rail. Be careful not to scratch the door. Tension the springs by rotating the door according to your installation manual. Finish cutting the packaging. Start unrolling the door. Make sure to trim the weather seal on the bottom rail. As you unroll the door, peel off the protective plastic packaging. Roll the door back up until 200 to 300 millimeters of the curtain remains unrolled. To ensure it stays in this position, use a soft wood chock. Cut the tracks to suit your door opening. Refer to your manual for cut lengths. Slot our unique lead-ins onto the tracks. Measure out and pre-drill the fixing positions on the track as per the installation manual.
Stand the tracks along both sides of the opening and slot the roller door curtain inside. You want to make sure that the tracks are level with the opening. Secure the tops of the tracks into the wall by drilling through the top hole of the lead-ins. Unroll the door slowly and carefully. As you go, adjust the position of the tracks as necessary so that the roller door glides up and down inside the track smoothly. Once you're happy with the position of the tracks, finish securing the track onto the wall using the holes you pre-drilled earlier. To create the locking bar holes, first close the door so that the bottom weather seal compresses against the floor. On the tracks, mark the top and bottom limits of the lock bar. Open the door and drill lock holes where you've indicated on the track. Maneuver the drill to extend the hole so that they link up. You'll want to approach this from both sides of the track. Finish off the job with a flat metal file. Test that your locking bars slide through the holes. Give yourself a pat on the back you've just successfully installed a roller door.